Hey, what's up everybody? I know it's been a while, but I'm coming at you with a video today. And welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be adding some side skirts and a rocket bunny wing on my car. So stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy. So originally, I was just going to throw the rocket bunny wing on and not make a video about it. But during the process of wrapping the car, um, I had some difficulties and I want to address that in these videos. The Rocket Bunny wing I got is by KBD and is made by polyurethane. So the thing about polyurethane is when you get it, it comes with like an oil kind of film on it. So the wrap wasn't really sticking and I had to go through some whole process to prep the surface and have a good surface for the wrap to adhere to. So I got a pair of side skirts from the same company. These are Nismo style side skirts and I'm going to show you how I prepped them so that the wrap could stick to them. Um, wrap or paint and I'm not going to be wrapping or painting them I'm just going to throw them on the car but um, I just want to show you guys how I prepped it and what worked for me so I'm about to prep the surface right now and to do that all I'm going to be using is 150 grit sandpaper and I'm going to follow it with a 400 grit sandpaper and some soapy water on the surface Alright guys, so I just showed you a little bit of what, exactly what I'm doing, but I just want to sh show you guys something real quick. Now, I said that it comes with like an oily type of film when you first get it, and as you can see, when I spray the water, it kind of sort of just like beads off of the surface. It doesn't really want to stick, it beads off, and yeah. Now when you know it's prepped good is when it looks like this. The whole surface is wet compared to that. So, let me show you real quick. If I sand it down, spray it again, see, now it stays. Compared to the unprepped surface, see, the water just beads up and doesn't want to really stay on the surface. So I got the right one fully prepped and it's drying right now, but just another telltale sign that your polyurethane parts are ready, are prepped, right, is that... If you looked at the press surface, it's like really, really dull, like it has no shine compared to the unprepped surface where it has that shine as if there's like a, like something over it. So that's another sign that you know this part is ready. All right, guys. So now that I got this side skirt um, prepped, now what I'm going to do is on this back side, on this little lip right here, um, it actually adheres with 3M tape, but I need to prep that surface as well. So what I'm going to be using to prep that surface is this little Dremel bit with this sanding wheel. And I'm going to just prep this surface real good so that 3M tape can stick good. Alright guys, so um, I'm about to apply this onto the trunk after I just wiped it down. And hopefully I get this all lined up good on the first try. And yeah, let's just go for it. Alright guys, so I got it on. It feels like it's on there real good. I got the automotive 30 pound double sided tape. Um, I got it on there pretty good. Um, the only thing is I didn't space out this gap. Um, cause on the other side it's pretty flush. But, that's alright. Um, I was doing this by myself so it was a little bit difficult. But I would recommend doing it with a friend or a helper. Just so you get better results. But, overall this looks good to me. So I'm gonna get on the side skirts. Alright guys, so I'm going to try to get this side skirt on, but I'm going to do it off camera just because I feel like this is going to be a pain and I don't want to record a one hour video, so yeah. Hey, what's up guys? It's a new day, but I'm going to continue this video now. Um, I found a different way of putting on the side, on, side skirt add-ons, so I'm going to just show you guys real quick. I got them on as you can see. All I did was put two self-tappers, one on this side, one on the other side, and then like three on the bottom. And it's on here 
pretty good. It doesn't move that much. I put like little pieces of double-sided tape, but it's not sticking too well. But yeah, um, I'm gonna make this permanent eventually. I'm just not gonna do it now because the car is wrapped and I don't know what the future has in store for this car, but I am gonna make these permanent soon, but yeah. So now that I have that on, I'm gonna go ahead and add on these side splitters that I have for the car. Just like that, they're on. So um, I'm happy that I completed the look. Looks really good, I like it, but mm, it is like gapping over here and it is kind of like flimsy. Um, I'm not going to lie to you guys and act like I have like a show worthy car, but yeah, I like it. I completed the look, so that all that's, that's all that really matters to me right now. So yeah, I'm going to do the other side and now that completes the video. As you can see, I got those on as well. And if you can tell in the video, once again, the 3M tape didn't really stick that well. But now all that I have left is to put on this side splitter. And just like that, those are on as well. And let me just show you the complete look. I like the way this came out. And I'm happy I got it to work, for now at least. Nonetheless, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to try to stay consistent as possible. And just remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.